Hogwarts tutorial series. Today is part 13 or part 2 of the Hufflepuff common room and dormitories. So today we are going to focus on the common room. With a, we will most likely get to at least laying out the dormitories. So first I apologize if I made quite the mess of the last one. It was very painful to edit so I imagine it must have been painful to watch um, again I repeat if anybody's struggling or if I made it too complicated or too weird please just come let me know and I will do my best to help you right so let's get to it whoops that's not a good start okay so we've got our main circle this is the main outline of our room and we are going to start off with our oak planks and we're just going to add, whoop, that's not oak we're going to add another layer of oak all the way around let's just throw a torch in there here. Let's turn that sound off shall we? There we go. Right, and um, we're going to do and two layers of birch. Wait a minute, no, we're not. We're going to do another oak because that's the floor. Right, yes. Okay, so that's the floor, and these two is oak. So another layer of oak. Right, and now we do two layers of birch. Make sure you go over the doors because we're sealing those doors in. So our common room will be two-tone. Okie dokie, so that's that done. Now we're going to add a layer of oak 
but this is going to go all the way across the top so this is effectively our ceiling over the common room on the outside too. We'll sort out the outside at a later time. So let's put some torches down underneath there. Oops, going too fast for it. Put a torch down there. We're not worried about what it looks like on the outside, yes, because we will get to that. A lot of it's going to be hidden anyway, because it's going to be in, in between space of the ceiling and the floor above us. So it's essentially putting another layer of oak around the edges and then filling in the centre. Get rid of all of these so we can move. We're going to need a few more torches. We'll sort out the lights next, I think. Oops, we've got a few holes there, haven't we?
foot stamp going up. I know I've just made a big hole over there. Oh, two, apparently. Okie dokie. And another one. I think I've got all the holes. Yep. So now we want our glowstone. And we're going to put this all the way around the edge of the top. Colours to the glowstone work perfectly for the Hufflepuff areas, and it makes it gives it that warm feeling, the coziness that is described as the Hufflepuff area. Again, because we don't actually see the Hufflepuff common room, you can do it any way you want. Right. So let's sort our floor out now. So for our flooring, we want some wool. We want some yellow wool. And we want some grey wool. Would help if I could spell. So we want our grey wool and we also want to oh, keep hold of that one, our light grey wool. Now in my survival series you'll have noticed that I've done this with the yellow, the light grey and brown. Originally I used black but black did not work. It was too dark and it did not look right at all. So I went for brown in the survival series. <clears throat> and my lovely friend Centaur did it in grey. And that looks absolutely fantastic. So we're going to use grey. It does mean we are essentially copying, but she doesn't mind. I checked. <laughs> Put the doors on the inside. So the centaur is a little bit better at the finishing touches than I am. Actually, have I done that wrong? I, I, okay. Making a bit of a mess again. Bitch. Right. So we're going to start off with our grey wool and we're going to start at the doors. The pattern is the same that I've used in the survival, it's just the colours are slightly different. So we're going to start off with the grey. We've got the two underneath the doors and these are going to go all the way across. until you meet the other side. Right, so we don't need that torch anymore, do we? In the middle. In fact, no. Go to this corner, these sides, the eight, and do two in the middle there and bring these towards the middle as well. See, I thought the grey would have been too dark, but it's not, it works really, really well. It's a lot better than I thought it would. So go straight across. Right, 
right and in the middle here put some glowstone lights four of them like so does that line up no it does not that's better and in this corner put some doors and the same in this one put some doors not that one that one's going to be a fireplace so now we get our yellow and we put a row of yellow around the outside curl it round same on this side And in this one. Okay, so now we go for another row of grey beside the yellow. Same all around. Ah. Hey. And in this corner. in this corner. Whoops, not that one. And now we go for another yellow. And just double check to make sure I'm on the right lines. I think there were three. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Right. Yes, there were three.
Right, and we have one more yellow. So each corner as such has three rows of yellow in it. Whoops. Don't need that. And for the last sections is light grey. That kind of look a stone. Oops. I didn't think it quite looked right. A little close problem, not all that different. Very sorry. And these corners. Get rid of those torches. Ah. Okay, is that it? That's it. So I have to remember which one is the one at that way. So that's the front. So now it's for decoration. So we're going to start off with a lovely flat fireplace. So we're going to knock those two out and fill it with stone. So don't want to risk setting it on fire. I don't know if wool ignites or not, but I'm not taking the chance. So we want some stone brick. We want some campfires. We want some stone brick stairs. Oh, we've got those already. And that's it for now. So campfires. Go around it as we do. One corner there, one corner there. Whoops. Kill that round. And kill that round. That's not quite right there, is it? Um and we could knock out those two so it looks like it's got a chimney there. Should we put some iron bars on it? Yeah, that looks a bit better. Okay. So now we want some... Let's see if we can get some bits together. So we want some oak fences. going to need the oak planks at back later. Um, we want some oak pressure plates, we want some oak stairs and we want some oak slabs. 
yeah, that'll do for now. So first things first is we're going to put in a big table, uh, a big sofa as such. Um, well, that's not quite right, is it? That's better, they're both on the same line. Well, there was one line out from the fire. It's one, two, three, four, five. Again, you don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it. And then we're going to put some oak slabs along the sides there. Makes it look like a proper sofa. With this one, we can go on it properly. Hey. Okay, so I'm going to put a series of four. We're going to come in one a bit, and then a series of four there. Put your pressure plates on top except for that one and stairs around it. There's a study table. This is the common room, it's going to have study tables. And we're going to put these in every corner. Like so. Oops, we've put, knocked out the wrong corner there, haven't we? It's this one. Right, and now a big one goes in the middle. I might have put that too far forward. We shall see. Oops, fences. So, I was trying to remember how I did this. Put a row of four in front of that. in front of that. Fill it in and then just pop it out at the sides there. Yeah, that's too far forwards. And we've essentially got a round table. I didn't actually mean it to be a round table to begin with. I probably told everybody this in the survival mode. I just wanted a big table and it just accidentally turned into a round table. As I'm a little bit obsessed with the King Arthur legends, hence my name, Lady Camelot. Right, so we need to move this forwards a bit. So let's... going to put an extra one on the ends there. There we go. Right, so now we uh, chairs all the way around. Yeah, initially I was just messing about with table designs and the next thing I knew I had a round table, so I thought, ah, I'd leave that. So I do rather like the round tables. That's not right. So much so, I've made my own. A lot of people probably know that story by now. Very sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I like to brag about my round table. I've made a proper one. One that I use as a dining table at home. It's brilliant. I'm extremely proud of it. Let me know if you want some pictures. I'll send some pictures. Okay, let's move on. 
So we've got a big round table and we've got our study tables in the corner. We've got a big sofa in the front. In fact, I'm thinking this should be of a different colour. Um, let's go with the spruce, shall we? So we're going to want some spruce slabs as well. So it blends in a little bit too much, doesn't it? So again, I know a lot of you have your own texture packs. You can obviously use those. You might have better ones than these. But we are sticking with plain vanilla ones for now. Plain vanilla Minecraft. That's the whole point. I am, however, going to start looking into making my own texture pack soon. Well, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Stands out a little bit more. Right, and we're going to get some black whoops black carpet and we're going to put like a rug in the middle there in fact we'll fill that up like there that looks good doesn't it right a few more things for decoration we want something on our walls our walls are looking rather plain so we want some Banners. We want some yellow banners and some black banners. We also want some paintings. Let's get some paintings out there. And we want a flower pot. We want some flowers to put in. Again, choose your own flowers. We're going to go for a blue one there. Um, there is a yellow one, I'm certain of it now. We'll go for a daisy. Uh, we'll go for a poppy. Gotta have poppy. I like the poppies. And we want a yellow flower that will fit. Now, but I can't remember what it's called. How about a tulip? We've got a, no, we've not got a yellow tulip. Never mind, we'll go for the orange. No, we'll go for the pink. Pink tulip. Four different flowers. I'm certain there's a yellow one. Ah, there it is, dandelion. So we'll start off with our walls. So we're going to put uh, puff or puff colours on the big spaces of wall. Okay, and this corner too. And we can get some over here and over there as well. There we go. We're going to put some picture frames on the other walls. Nothing too big. Oops, 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 I say nothing too big, we've ended up with a big one. Never mind. Don't want to overdo the walls. So that will do. Is it just me? Or does that one there remind you of Draco? Always reminds me of Draco, that one. Right, so now we're going to go with our flower pot. We're going to put two in those corners there, like so. We're going to put one on our corners. We're going to put three along there. Uh, shall we put three? No. Maybe later. And 
don't forget the four on here. Can we get some? Oh, we can get some on the corners there as well. Because the Hufflepuffs like the nature, the, the plants and stuff like that. So we're going to go round and we're going to put some flowers in. Try not to space them because they're called the same colours. So we're going to try and space them out a little bit. Uh, oh, oh. yellow one in there, yellow one in that one, let's switch it up to blue, we've got a blue one there, blue one there, so let's try and put daisy, I like the poppies. I once planted a million poppy seeds in a wild area near me. Not a single one grew. Very disappointed. Not one. I now believe I had buds. Must have been for the not a single one out of a million seeds not to grow. Okay, have I got them all? Is that enough, do we think? Shall we put more? Maybe we shall see. I want to put a couple more things down first and then we shall see. Right, so for the couple more things that we want, we want some chests. And we want some bookcases. It's a study hall after all, they're gonna be bookcases. So we're going to focus our bookcases around the little study areas that we've made. We're going to put a chest or two. Um, yeah. Okay. chest. We don't really need the chests, do we? They're not quite looking right, are they? Oh, we'll pop one there. No, we won't. Yes, we will. Yeah. Trying to make it a little bit different each time, otherwise we're going to end up with a big symmetrical. We don't really want that. Painting being there. Never mind, I'd rather have the bookcase and you two. Okay. Right, fine. We can fit some in that on there instead, and there and there. Oh, no, we don't want the same. We've only got two. Okay, so we can fit some more flowers in, I think. Again, I don't think you can have too many in this case. Whenever you can squeeze them in, really. Mm, no, not there. Not there, 
on this side. Go for blue and white, red. Can't have too much red in my opinion. I like red. Not that there. Doesn't quite look right there, does it? At least I don't think so. You might. Okay, and we're done. I think that looks pretty good if you ask me. It's a nice big open space but it's warm and it's cosy. So now that we're done we're going to move outside. Sort out what's going on up here. Okay, so we're going to get our main materials back, which would be the oak planks, the birch planks, the stone brick, and the stone brick stairs. We will be needing some cobblestone too at a later date. May or may not get that far today. I want to get this corridor sorted today. So, do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to fill that in with that. No, we're not. We're going to use stone brick because stone brick is the ceiling. We're going to use stone brick stairs there and there. We're going to put a plant pot there and a plant pot there. And I shall probably worry about the plant pots later. Right. See, now that doesn't look right, does it? Oak stairs. Let's try the oak stairs. Oh. Yep. Oh, that looks better, doesn't it? Yes, I'm happy with that. Right, torches. Torches are essentially going to go on this side, not that side. So, right, now what we want to do is we want to go around the outside of this and just cover up the birch we don't want the two-tone on the outside. Okay, so remember that stone brick is level with your ceiling, so there's no point doing above it. Don't come out any further than you have to, just cover up the birch and make it look smooth and neat as you can. If we don't want the two-tone on the outside, it doesn't look right on the outside. It looks lovely on the inside, but not the outside. It looks rather messy. So we're just going to cover... There. So you want to leave a bit of a hollow with the doors because it gives them that nice effect. And the torches there. I 
kind of like the birch though, it works though, it gives it a little bit of definition. So what time are we on? Oh, we've got about 15 minutes. We should certainly get the layout of a couple of dormitories in there. Just stick a torch there. Ah. Okay, and this is the last doorway. Right, what we're going to do is on this one here, so we've got our little archway of a door. Let's put our stairs in there torches there. We're going to go behind that one and then we're going to seal that off. So we don't need the rest of that. It's not big enough for us to fit a dormitory in so it's a bit of a waste of space so there's no point in having it. So we might as well close it off so it can't be seen. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, right, and that's that. Just make sure we've covered all the birch. Okie dokie. Right, now we're going to try and do a layout to a dormitory. I'm hoping we're going to fit one in here quite nicely. Ideally, a little more in. So, bear with me a little bit. When I say bear with me, don't follow me immediately because I'm likely to make some mistakes or change it up a little bit. So just hang fire until I've got it sorted because again I'm used to digging this out rather than building it in like this. So let's just bring this floor forwards. Okay. And the ceiling. Let's bring that towards us a little bit as well. Like so. So that's our main corridor, which is looking pretty good. So, right, so again, bear with me. I'm going to do it on the same level as this one so we're gonna go I'm just gonna go a bit random here for a moment one two three four five it's one yeah one in and one in again it's one two three four five 
see I'm not certain that's going to work there four five one two three four five okay so that doesn't really work for me here it's meant to be narrow corridors because it, it's described to be like a burrow and tunnels so it does need to be narrow here but not quite that narrow where you've got to bump into things we have got a bit of room back here i don't want to come out as far as that unless i have to so let's come out another one and see what happens so if we undo these and just stick with this main five so we're going to put one there and take that one out so we've now got a space of five here and then five for our dormitory let's see how that works one two three four five so we've got five there, five there, and two ones. One, two, three, four, five. Then we come in a little bit. Oh, I think this is going to work. One, two, three, four, five. Right, is that going to work? Let's fill in the floor, shall we, and see what happens. Ideally, we want a space of two. That works, actually. That works pretty well. So let's fill no, just the floor because that's oak. So again, space of five here on this wall and then five as your wall. So we're going to go with that oak. Well, I, yeah. We're going to fill this wall in. if we've used the wall as part of our dormitory. Okay, there's no point going further back because there's nothing back here. In fact, we might even knock all that out in a moment. What I want to do next is fill in our next one so we need to come back a little bit we want to come at least two out of there in fact that's a fantastic idea put the flooring first those two are oh no need the oak doors back So fill in the floor first, yeah? So ideally you want a row of two minimum. If we think, should we try for a third? Let's see if we can get a third in. So we're going to use that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. No, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, it doesn't matter if there's a tiny bit of space in between. So let's level up here with that. So that's one, two, three, four, five. The doors are not going to be in the middle though, so don't worry about trying. Don't think about trying to line the doors up with those doors. Eh. One. Two, three, four, five. The doors are not going to be on the flats. Ah. 
we're not going to get that in. We need another two. And I put that out. Ooh, we have exactly two there. But on this side, we can't get away with it. Oh, yes, we can. Because there's going to be rocks and cliffs here yet. Because we've got the staircase that goes there down to the boathouse. So this is not underneath. There's lots of rocks. So we can get away with it for this one. So let's knock a few out. We're actually only going to pop out by one. One, two, three, four, five. That's not so bad. Yeah, it's probably not going to look right until we do actually do the landscaping. One, two, three, four, five. The landscaping is going to be some time away yet. But what we'll do to try and make it look a little bit better is we're just going to fill this in like so just to hide it a little bit so it's not going to bug us too much there we go and there is dormitory number two we don't need that and we can knock this bit out so I wasn't happy with this bit. So we can knock all that out because it's wasted space now. It's not useful to us. It will not be seen. Keep it level with that. So that is two dormitories. Now we can fit several more in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the birch round, I think. We have a lot more space over here now, so it's not so bad now. I will probably fit in about six or seven. Again, we don't really use all the space. So if you really, really wanted to, you could probably fit more. I'm just gonna try and keep it level at three. It doesn't matter if we get a little bit more but we want a minimum of three for the time being. Over here, we're going to come all the way out to this wall. Again, and it is a little bit random for the time being, as I say, just give yourself a good round. It is a little bit random. But it's kind of meant to be for the time being. We will fine tune it when we put in our dormitories. go right now let's think about this up until here again you don't have to put it exactly the same place as me for the time being we will fine-tune it once we've put the dormitories in but I want this wall to be oak
oops, I poked a hole in the... Not that it matters because it's nothing on there, is it? There we go, let's put some torches up. I will sort the lighting situation out at a later date. And I think we're going to leave it there for now. We've got a little bit further than I expected. So next time, because we are roughly on an hour. Uh, so next time we will continue laying out the dormitories and we'll get them built with the, hopefully might even get them finished. And then we can move on to the grand staircase. Woo. So, until then, take care of yourselves, like and subscribe, share me, make sure you hit that notification button so you don't miss part three. You don't want to miss part three. You don't want to build one and two and then miss part three. That would just be silly. So make sure you hit that notification button, share me around please, and like and subscribe. So until then, I shall see you next time. Bye.